Welcome to Heroes of the Ancients 2.0. We finally re-released Heroes of the Ancients and it's better than ever before. Heroes of the Ancients is all about teamwork. There's no gold or items and all team players share their level with the team. So often while we play Dota, we get frustrated that some heroes just got so overpowered by getting very good items, while other heroes are just weaker and can't farm as fast as others. The result is that some are really strong and other heroes struggle to survive for choosing the wrong item combination for the hero. Choose your hero. Like I said before, there is no gold in Heroes of the Ancients, so your teammates don't feed the opposing team when they die. And to push weaker teams, we added more power to the so-called bandit squad in the jungle. These groups of monsters are similar to the neutral camps you find in traditional Dota. However, once you defeated them, they are ready to be captured and fight for the capturing team alongside their creeps. To keep track of the jungle, we added so-called lookouts. These are the replacement for wards and once captured, by simply going above of them and waiting a few seconds, you gain a large amount of view over the area around the lookout. Also, we added two new abilities for the game mode. These are fast travel and teleport. Fast travel acts like wearing boots which gives you 40% additional movement speed and gets deactivated once you get hit or cast any spell. The teleport ability just acts like the teleport scroll in Dota. However, the casting time is a little bit longer and it immediately gets deactivated once you get hit. Mana is used for casting your spells, but what really matters is health. If you're low on health, you can look out in combat for health drops by the opposing team mage. Or you can also use moon wells or return to the base by using the teleport ability. If all that doesn't work out, you can try to hide in bushes in the game, which are dark green areas all across the map. Once both teams hit level 4 or higher, the mines will open. You need to take out all the kobolds and the boss to collect skulls. The progress is shown in the bottom left of the screen. Once you collected 100 skulls, two golems spawn for both teams. A threat has been spotted to the south. But the team which collected more skulls gets a stronger golem. Your queen and here are some smaller changes. Hero turning has been as good removed as possible. Heroes like Putsch can act much faster. To uncover invisible units, you need to choose I.O., Nature Prophet or Crystal Maiden and use the so-called Sentry Aura, a new skill created especially for this mod to replace Sentry Wards as there are no items. All towers got ammo limitations, meaning if they run out of ammo, they need to reload and can't shoot you or also take spell damage. Thank you for watching this video. 
I hope you understand now the basics of Heroes of the Ancients. Please leave us a comment to know what we can improve and what do you like. Now at the end of the video I will show you our new map. Goodbye. Yes. This must be. I love to battle. As must be. Say, Burn the train. Beware the wolf. So you say. Fealty to none. Runs. Good day to fight. Enemies need killing. <laughs> 